What's up guys, today in this video we're going to be talking about the skills in Night Crows and the best way to go about getting these skills. I'm going to be explaining some different tactics on how to utilize your skills and where to get them and a bunch of other things so let's just hop right into this. So you've been grinding your main quest line and you may have come up to the point where you need to upgrade your skills to progress even further in your quest. You're going to come to your map and you're going to see your main village here. You're just going to go here teleport there, whatever you got to do. Once you get in town, you're going to want to come to skill, click on the skill guy, and you're going to see the different skills that you have. Now, before going ahead and just buying all types of skills, because you should have quite a bit of gold saved up. See, I have 5,600,000 saved up here. And you can see though, some of the really good skills cost 9 million gold. So there's two ways you can go about this. You can keep your gold and buy the 9 million skill right out the gate or you upgrade your smaller ones but it's recommended you still buy the cheap 90,000 150,000 ones that pertain to damage and helping you kill and farm faster because the nine mil skills you can get around level 40 that's when they're going to come into play that's when it's going to be a little bit easier to start farming and grinding to get the nine million but here i'm going to show you in skills what you want to look for so in my skills I'm going to get the Gracious Light because this is going to buff me with crit damage, PvE. And so this basically is saying you need to look at your skills, go through them, see what you would want. The blue ones here are going to be the 9 million. The purple ones I can't even buy yet. So we're not even going to worry about them right now. Down over here is the passives right underneath your skills. This one is where we're going to buy some passives to upgrade. So I can buy the physical reinforcement, upgrade it to four. So I'm going to be looking through these and seeing that I do want offset and I want flow detection. So let's go ahead and just buy these skills. So I am going to get the gracious light. This is going to be one that I need to buy. Once you buy a skill, you can come over to your bag and then you just use it. You should have it. Now I'm going to go through, after I buy these skills, how to actually set up your skill sequences. Now this is very important to understand because when you're fighting, you can actually set up how you want your skills to discharge and how you want them to be in a sequence. It's going to shoot my lightning strike first, normal attack, normal attack, and then a discharge. But now that I have gracious light, I want that to be in there. But it's looking like I cannot register that in my skill sequence. So I can register it in my quick slot down at the bottom. Like I can click auto. Perfect. That is beautiful. So we have gracious light casting on auto. That is beautiful. So my discharge is an attack ability that I need to upgrade. So I'm going to get this. Awareness is for mana regen i don't need that right now i'm probably gonna need it in the future i could get the discharge level three i might do that i might actually get lightning strike level two right away and yeah, I want that one offset this is what increases my melee and magic evasion Low detection increases damage to normal types. We believe this is to normal mobs or your normal attack. We could not find it on the wiki, but it just says increased damage to normal types. I'm going to go ahead and do that one too, because I need to increase my damage. And then I will go ahead and get the discharge. Where's the lightning? Now I might do lightning. I'm going to go ahead and do lightning instead of discharge. Oh, for five bucks. I could get a chest. Huh. Two point five mil, two hundred diamonds. Not bad. They know what I want. That's how they get you. We're going to go this full free to play 
not going to spend any money on this game. I want to see how easy it is to start earning. We're going to just go ahead with discharge too. All right, down to one mil. Again, if you want to swap, if you want to swap your skill sequence, click on the skill and move it around. There you can see what will happen with where you want it. Passives are just that. They're passive. You can't add them in your skill sequence. I'm about to go test out the skill sequences to show you what is going on here. Look at this map. This game is beautiful. I got these wings thanks to pre-registering for the game, which was pretty fun. They are nice looking. Oh, it casted it on its own right there. Perfect. You can see it shows what skill it is on. So it's going to skip the skills that aren't in play. Sometimes it's good to set up the normal attack at the end of a skill sequence because you can kite a lot of the monsters or bosses that you fight in the main quest line. This is just a short guide on the skills. I'm going to be making more guides. Next guide is going to be on dungeons. I'm actually going to be doing a, a video on how to get gold too. There's an easy way to get gold. Don't forget to buy your daily weapon enhancement, armor enhancement, and anything else that you want in here. It's uh, daily purchases in the shop. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you join the Juice Gaming Team Discord. Join the Juice Team Guild. We're in NAEU 102 Rook server. I'll see you there. Peace.